But tonight, a new way to get around UNC Charlotte. Yeah, self-driving shuttle is taking passengers around campus, and this is part of an experiment on autonomous vehicles by the NC Department of Transportation. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson jumped on board today for a ride. We're currently on Cassie, which sits about eight people and goes 12 miles per hour. University officials say this is a look into the future. At UNC Charlotte. We are on our way. Cutting edge technology. And when it takes off by itself, it's just so cool. Taking the wheel out of driver's hands. This is one of the most complicated pilots that they've done here in the state of North Carolina. Most complicated because Cassie, this self-driving electric vehicle, will have to navigate campus life from traffic lights to steering clear of pedestrians. It uses all kinds of different types of technologies from radar to cellular to radio. It puts all those technologies together. It maps out the route in advance. But for extra safety precautions, if needed, an operator is on board ready to take control. The shuttle is going to automatically stop because there's something in its way. This part of an experiment on autonomous vehicles by NCDOT. The goal is to see how this technology will work long term as a public transportation option. Mobility is a hot topic here in Charlotte. Could this come to the city in the future? Um, Potentially, and so we still we see this technology as uh, still under development, and so it's really great to have the opportunity to again to, to demonstrate it in different contexts. And so far, students say it's a first step into a driveless future. I think it's really cool. And this is a pilot project that will end in December. Once it wraps up, they'll ask questions like what worked, what didn't, and how can they improve it moving into the future. Reporting on UNC Charlotte's campus for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.